If you're a TJX company shareholder, or if you've been following the stock, you might not feel so great today. Shares are down after the company reported its fiscal 2024 third quarter results. Is the market got it right? Is the company's results, which were actually pretty solid, is there something there looking forward investors really need to be worried about? Or is now maybe an opportunity to be thinking about being a buyer? I'm Jason Hall, this is The Smattering. Before we take a closer look at TJX companies, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. If you're looking for even more great stock ideas, go to our special link. Go to fool.com forward slash The Smattering. The Motley Fool is going to give you its 10 best stocks to buy right now. Be sure to check that link out after this video for some great stock ideas. All right, I'm going to pull this up on the screen and take a look at what's going on with TJX company stock. Again, it's down. Here we are. It's about 1045 roughly on the, the morning after earnings came out stock is down. Again, the company reported some pretty solid results that we'll get into. And that's very, it's a different reaction to say target company, target stock price is up 16% today. It didn't exactly report the same kind of great results. So what's going on? What's the difference? So the short version before we get into the details is it's all about expectations. Targets results weren't fantastic, at least in terms of sales but it beat expectations in some important ways. On the other hand, TGX results were pretty solid overall, but looking forward, management's guidance is probably the thing that has the market a little bit rattled and why the stock is down. I'm gonna pull up TGX's earnings release. We're gonna go through some of the key things to talk about, think about what they mean going forward, try and arrive at an answer about the condition of the business and whether based on the valuation, if this is a time to be thinking about buying. Let's start with the key numbers. Again, sales growth was about 6% on a comps basis, up 6%. Compare that to Target, where comps sales were down 5%. And it was, that's pretty solid, especially, and it was better than management expected, as they say right here above the company's plan. Also entirely driven by customer traffic. This kind of bucks the trend that a lot of retailers are seeing right now with retail sales that are declining as consumers tighten their belt and pull back away from some discretionary spending. Of course, TJX companies maybe has a little bit of an advantage because their focus is on heavily discounted items, creating bargains for shoppers. Saw so really good results at their Marmax brands and at home goods where comps were up 9%. Again, they say it entirely driven by customer traffic. That's fantastic. That doesn't mean that less customers came in, spent more money. They said more customers came in their doors, which is a real positive. We saw higher profit margin, 12% margin up 0.8 percentage points. That's a pretty big increase and helps drive earnings. Diluted earnings per share increased 13%. You love a double digit growth especially for a large retailer that has a pretty well-established presence, even as they are still focusing on trying to grow their business. Here's another thing. They increased their outlook for earnings per share and for comps sales. Okay, how in the world, you have to be asking yourself, how in the world did they deliver blowout quarter, great comp sales, traffic's improving, they raised their guidance, and the stock is still down? You have to be wondering that, right? Here's the thing. I'm going to pull it up again. Here's exactly how that happened. For the fourth quarter of fiscal 2024, again, they're already in their fiscal 2024. Company continues to expect overall comparable store sales to be up three to 4%. All right. So that's, they're expecting that to be the same, but they're expecting a higher profit margin. They're expecting higher earnings per share. All right. Okay, so they raised it, but again, th up three to 4%. Remember this, coming off of a quarter where it was up 6%, and there is the disconnect. You can't report 6% comps and then forecast 4% comps for the next quarter, three to 4% comps, and not expect this to happen. The market was expecting to see that trend continue with great traffic, driving great stores, driving comp sales growth, and that's not what they got. The market always looks forward. And when you look forward and management saying, hey, here's our guidance. We had a great quarter. It was better than expected, but we still expect this sort of comps growth. The market reacted the way that it did. I think you have to trust management over the long term. TJX's management has been really good. They understand their business pretty well. 
They've done a really good job of stabilizing, dealing with some of the inventory issues they dealt with during the pandemic that actually put them a little bit behind all the supply chain stuff. There wasn't a bunch of excess in, in, in inventory that TJX Companies was able to buy at highly discounted rates, cleared out of other companies' warehouses, and put it in its stores and make good margins on. They've worked through that. Now their inventory is in a good situation. Management knows their business pretty well. And I would prefer a management team that's going to be a little bit on the conservative side when it comes to setting guidance versus just assuming that this great blowout quarter is going to continue when everywhere else in retail you look, sales are down, they're generally weak. I think management's doing the right thing. Okay, so now the question you have to be asking yourself, stock's down a little bit. Business seems like it's pretty stable. They're still forecasting for comps growth when a lot of other retailers aren't necessarily expecting that to be the case. Is this stock a buy? Let's talk about valuation a little bit here. I think there's a couple of metrics that you can use that are useful. Obviously, this is an established company. They have a track record of earning money. They have a track record of generating cash flow. So what I have on the screen here is earnings per share, operating cash flow per share. I'm going to use operating cash flow per share because we had that big drop in earnings back during the pandemic era, during the, the supply chain crunch era, that kind of makes the numbers look a little bit screwy. So if we looked at price to price to operating cash flow per share, we see it trades for about 17 times cash flows. You might be asking yourself, okay, is that a little bit on the expensive side? After all, this is a stock that's done pretty well. Not doing so great today, done pretty good over the past year, held up pretty well. So we look at that price to operating cash flow 17 times. And you know what? You look at that over the long term, and that's a pretty reasonable price to pay. About 16 times. We think about that as compared to its average over the past decade, usually traded for about 21 times. So getting it for about 17 times cash flows, you know what? That's not a bad price to pay for a company like this. Again, particularly when you consider that TGX is particularly when you consider that TGX is still growing its store count. Again, store locations grew from just under 4,900 to a little over 4,900, opened close to 50 stores during the third quarter. And in terms of square footage, added about a million point one, 1.1 million more square footage in store space. So still growing its store count, right? It's a modest amount of growth. It's not fast, but it is growing it. I also think it's important too, when you think about a company like TGX Companies, it proven relatively resilient to macroeconomic environments. The pandemic was a one-off situation that was the supply chain crunch that put TGX in a bad situation. Historically, they've always been in a great situation because they're a buyer of excess inventory. And when we go into economic downturns, companies that are looking to offload inventory, they love a TGX that has a strong balance sheet, can move quickly, soak up inventory, and then they can make money from it. I think TJX is really well positioned. The stock is pretty reasonably priced. It's not super cheap, but it's cheap enough, I think, if you're looking for a long-term hold. I think TJX Companies is a stock you may want to consider adding to your portfolio. Right now, on this little bit of weakness that the market sees, because I see strength for the business over the long term.